Well, I'm up plowing, and it's actually going good, but I have to think of it. You know, I'm halfway through my day. I have yet to meet a single car, which is good. I mean, it's partly because it's cold and partly because the roads are tough. And it's still blowing about 20 miles an hour, so I'm going to have to redo all of these in the next couple of days. But going good so far. But, you know, that's the main problem with, with plowing snow is dealing with traffic. But when you got no traffic, it goes pretty good. So stay home when it snows, just stay home. <laughs> Well, I thought I was going to have to give her up. It's been going good, but of course this stuff is really dusty, you know, it flies around and, and so my engine and everything is filling up with snow. And I had an alarm go off that it was overheat. Well, it wasn't overheating, it's a coolant temperature sensor. And I think the water got on the connecting pins and it was just reading wrong because the gate was jumping wildly well I think I got it dried off again but you know this grader has been a good grader but almost every problem I've had with it has been with sensors you know it's well I think they're built like the space shuttle with it you know the lowest price sensor they can buy you know make a hell of an expensive machine and then put in a cheap ass sensor and when the coolant temperature sensor was jumping it was triggering the fan, and I got a hydraulically driven fan, so the fan kept going full speed and then slow way down and then go full speed again. I, I could feel a, a surge in the machine. You know, it, it's sensors are always bad news. You know, but all the new stuff is built that way, but it's kind of one of the reasons I don't fly in airplanes. Too goddamn many sensors. That annoying alarm went off again, and you can see heat gauge is buried, but I will let you listen to this extremely annoying alarm. Now, it's one of them where you can't tell where the hell it's coming from, though. A guy did tell me where the alarm is to disconnect it. But I'm going to have to go and monkey around. You know, it happened in this situation again where I was getting a lot of snow blowing in the back of the engine, so... We have to go back there and poke around again, but that's a nuisance. Well, I got her working again for the moment. Nope. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm gonna have to finish up this and then bring her. Oh, there she. Uh, she's just so screwed up. But I know where the pins are, so I'll have to clean them off again. What I need is, a, like on submarines and uh, spaceships where they have that switch where they kill that alarm and they kill the alarm. That's what I need. I need to put one of them in here. Kill the alarm. Well, so far so good. And it's looking like I'll be able to get over everything I need to get over today so then I won't have to go out tomorrow, which will be great. Because it's, it's finally got above zero. It's two above zero now, but it's going to start dropping because we only got about well, an hour and a half of daylight left. But even if I have to finish up in the dark, beach coming in tomorrow when it's going to be a lot cooler. Well, as the sun sets in the west, I'm heading back to the shop. Call her a day. I actually got over everything that I needed to get over. What normally takes me a day and a half, I got done in one day. But part of it was I was able to run at about 20 miles an hour most of the time because the snow was fairly gritty, you know, so I had fairly good traction. And also, for the first time in like 25 years, I've never met a single car all day. You know, and that makes it great if you don't have to deal with traffic, but like I say, it was 25 years ago the last time that happened. But I think everybody's at home staying out of the cold. Because he's, well, he's zero right now, but it should be dropping. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I won't even come in tomorrow. Now, isn't that just special? I left the check magnet in the maintainer shed so, uh, so it could be plowed around, you know, so you could clean up around here just to get it out of the way. 
Come to think of it, that's the first time that thing's been in the shed since I bought it. Never been under a roof. Looks kind of smug. Probably got it spoiled.